This is going way too smooth. Something's going to happen. I don't know what. Don't say that. I'm on some wood. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Morning. Outstanding. Good morning, Alex. Morning. I'm excited about a lot of things today. Yeah, why is that? Number one, Kelsey's going with us today. Finally, they let me out. Number two, He's the guy we're buying the car from, which I've worked with for a long time on price and just getting the family ready to sell it, watches Coffee Walk and knows that we go eat after it and I already know where we're going to go eat and it's going to be phenomenal. Is it going to be open? It is going to be open. <laughs> that, awesome. that tends to be a problem. Yeah. yeah. Number three, we're saving a B-Body Mopar, Love those. which is unusual. They're hard to find these days, and it is a charger, awesome. which is great, which is iconic for many reasons, many movies, many television series, yep. but they're just super cool cars, and a lot of guys are resting on them now. That's three things I'm excited about. That's awesome, and it's not even 10 o'clock on a Wednesday, and he's still... Well, here's number four. Oh, what's number four? Snickerdoodle is without a doubt my favorite Blue Iron coffee. Not only does it taste delicious, scrub delicious, it smells good. So today, Smell. since I'm going to be on Coffee <laughs> Block, the dad jokes are just going to be flowing the entire episode. So what do, you, what, what do you say? What's your tagline? Let her rip tater chip. Get you some of that. Get your cup of joe and let's go. <laughs> I'm excited about one more thing. Alex got the lead removed out of his foot. I did. <laughs> Now we can go. Now you can grab your cup of joe and let's go. Spicy nacho for Zach. Alex picked spicy nacho last time too. Kelsey, what are you getting? That's how it's done. Nacho cheese. We love snacks. Cars. How are you, sir? Pretty good. How are you doing? Dennis Collins. Jared Scott. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Alex. Hi, nice to meet you. Zach nice meet you. on the camera and my daughter Kelsey. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Rhonda. I'm Melinda. Rhonda. How are Rhonda. you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> this is so you're the one I've been talking to. Yes, sir. Nice to finally meet you. It's been a while since we started this deal. Yeah. <laughs> took a while to find the title. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did. Well, let's check it out. So how many people live in Hughes Point? Hughes Springs. Hughes Springs. Yeah, that's said the wrong thing. Uh, Hughes Springs. Uh, about 1,500, maybe. Maybe. I don't remember. So how did this get here? Oh, uh, Dad bought it mm -hmm. 20 My years ago. My husband bought it like 20, 25 years ago. Yeah. yeah I think when you sent me a copy of the titles in 1990. Yeah, that's whenever the last owner had it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And he, he always wanted to. He had one when we first. Well, he had one ever since I met him when I was like nine or ten, and he always wanted to fix one up for me. So XP29 is premium L, would be a 383 two barrel car. Yep. And then G, it was made in St. Louis. Wow, a lot of parts in there. Yeah, I got more seats and doors and okay. Things. Yeah, he had everything to make it either the like the regular or the RT. Okay. Well, you obviously by the vid we know it's a 70, but you can see these grills are 70. Yeah. The surrounds and then the tail lights are totally different than 68. Okay. Well, that's a Charger 500, Alex. That's pretty neat. I don't think that decodes in the VIN. Uh, not in the VIN, but on the tag, fender tag. Let's see if there's a fender tag. Uh, I didn't find one on this one. The other fenders are in the corner. So this is now offered on the new G 
jailbreak challenger. This gas cap. How do I know that? I ordered one last week. I didn't find the. When you asked me to look for the fender tag on this, I didn't see it. With the other fenders are inside. There's the holes for it. It's not a big deal. Let's see if that's got At least the sand's on the outside of the car this time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have my flashlight with me today. Dad, I really? have there are eight sitting on my desk for you to take every single time you go buy a car. I think Alex took <laughs> With batteries two. in them. <laughs> I can get my phone. <laughs> Dad, here. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep, there's a number right here. One of the last digits up there on the VIN, Alex. This is 109. Oh three two. Looks like it's stamped backwards. The VIN is two three zero six zero one. Okay, well that's it. I was reading it backwards. Two three zero six zero one. So the car has not been hit in the front. That's good. It looks like straight. It does look straight. So was that armadillo lives in there? Is that what you said? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, you gonna take my wife's favorite animal. <laughs> you gonna take him with you? No. no, no. no. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think these fenders came with it. The ones that are on the car? Yeah, like I said, the other sits inside the car. Plug parts. Wow. Original Charger 500 grill, it's got the emblem on it still. Yeah. That's a lot of parts. Look at that, original uh, build decal still here too. So it's got the original doors on it, original floor support. It's kind of cool. <coughs> so that's the door build decal right there. Looks like it's 5 of 70. And best of all, you do have a title. All right. You got a deal. I will pay what we discussed on the phone. Is cash okay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Kelsey, take care of that. So you know, uh, we we're talking about the way out here, Alex, on the jailbreak car. I just ordered. I wanted white interior. Yeah. This car is a white interior car. Cool. Copper like with it. white. Pretty unusual. Yeah. This is a vinyl top car too. So here's the license plate back here from 1990, and that's the title's dated 1990. This car's been off the road for 31 years. Mm -hmm. Long time. I think he traded 500 dollars in a motorcycle. Really? Yeah. That's a deal. <laughs> I'll tell you, the best thing he ever did was take the vinyl top off where it sat out here. This roof would be ruined. He had a 72 satellite. Really? We've got it running. Yeah. Ruin this truck, Alex, because there's a pair of doors in the garage. Seats, no room. This is cool. These the medallions here say Charger. It's all white interior. Yep. I said his nephew was going to restore it from him, and he bought exactly. all this bondo to. <laughs> you know, I'm glad he never put it on the car. Yeah. Yeah, we'd rather start on one that somebody else hadn't messed with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this this is this would be a good candidate for restoration, actually. Okay. Now we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the doors, Alex, and the seats. I guess we'll just put those on the back. No big deal. All right, I'm gonna try to back up to this couch. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> Starting a trend. <laughs> so by just airing up the tires, it came off the ground, which is nice. Oh, yeah. Back the tire, lose air. That's crazy. So we got something living down here. Hopefully I don't meet it.
right there on the cape member. I'm ahead of you, Alex. I broke a tire on, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but Thank you. let it rip. It's easier, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. All right. One more strap in the front, two in the back. I'll tie down the deck lid. I'll strap the hood on. You want the hood on the uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put that hood on the back of the truck. We'll put the doors on it, put the seats on it. We'll just strap it all on the back of the truck. Or we put the hood under the car. What do you think, Alex? The hood on the car you said? Under it. Oh, under it. Yeah, if it'll fit. I don't know if it'll go in there. Yeah. No, we'll just put it up here, it's fine. You want it this way or the other way? It does. Well, the other way, because of the ball. Perfect. I don't think we're going to hurt it. No. Nah. This was it's a spare hood. It's a cool yard art, though. Yeah, my cousin lost it off his truck. Uh-oh. Your cousin did that? Yeah. What's his name? James. Bud? <laughs> right. Man, James, I can't believe you let that hood fly off of your truck. That's terrible. Are you hooked up to the wheels, at? Absolutely. Or Kelsey, Kels let Kelsey do it. Say, can you let me do it? Hook it into one of the it? spokes of the wheel. A little tricky. You need more slack. All right, all right, you're good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Tight enough. Is that tight? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Well, this is going way too smooth. Something's going to happen. I don't know what. Don't say that. <laughs> <some> wood. <laughs> We're going to load this up with parts. I say I say we put the seats in there. You want to put the doors in there instead? Seats. I like we'll that. Put the seats and put the gas tank on it and then. <laughs> Look at that. Put the headrest of that one this way. What do you mean? So, up this, up, dig that, and the head, the head, the head, the head over there, so it can go like that. Just like you did, opposite of what you just did. Perfect. It's like a puzzle. God, I love it when a plan comes together like this. That's amazing. Gas tank on top of that, shut the hood, strap it in. Go. Oh, uh, close enough. That'll work. Uh, you want to pull the chair out up a little bit so you can the gas tank in the flat. Yeah. Wow. All right, Kels, back on that wheel. Yes. Wood, please. Okay, so is there a water tower in Hughes Point? Hughes Springs. I keep saying Hughes Point. Hughes Springs. As far as I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. How about best place to eat? You go to Granny's in Hughes Springs. Granny's Kitchen. Yeah. Well, that's where we're going to go. If you guys want to join us there, we'll be there. All right. And you said they've got uh, 
chicken, good chicken fried steak, just good home cooking? Yes, sir. All right. Well, ma'am, it's an honor to meet you. Honor to meet you. And I'm sorry Thank for your you. loss. Thank you. And it's unbelievable. It's today is a one year anniversary of his passing. Yes. Mr. Gerald Scott. Yep. So this will be a memory of him, and we'll post a picture of him at the end of this. And your car's going to a good home. Yes, it Thank is. you for selling it to us. Thank you. So we'll, we'll make his dreams come true. Yep. This will be back on the road at some point in time. Right. Now, I'm going to say probably a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so off to Granny's Kitchen. Let's do it. You guys want to join us? Meet us there. If not, thank you for your time. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. All right. Very good. All right. Y'all have a great day. Thank, thank you. We're off. Nice to meet you. I can just tell this is going to be good. I can just feel it in my stomach. My stomach feels like this is going to be outstanding food, guys. I can just tell. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I haven't had a chicken fried steak in probably 15 years, and I think I'm probably going to order one. Well, they are supposed to be outstanding here. And it's the only restaurant in town, but it's the best. <laughs> it looks it's like actually, the it's not restaurant. The, it's not the only restaurant in town, but they, but they say this is the place to eat. Over here. All right. Granny's Kitchen. Granny. Hi, Granny. I'm meeting you. Dennis Collins. I'm a hugger. Okay. I'll take, I'll take a hug. I, I, I'm a hugger. I hug everybody. Well, we're here. We heard a lot about your food, so we're ready and we're hungry. Well, how in the world did y'all hear about me? You're famous in this area. You know, right. I used to take a whole lot to be famous in uh, Q Springs, huh? Yeah, well, we've been working at it for years now. Years, yeah. <laughs> and you got yourself on the map. Well, good. All right. And good. we're gonna make we're gonna make so it even bigger. Give our chicken fried steak. That's what right. oh, that's, that's, that's what your bet special. That's what okay. that's what and, I'm gonna do. And sure. we make homemade white gravy. We don't have the powder Perfect. stuff. Yes. You yes. add your water. Yes. We I make tell homemade everybody, white gravy. I'm a picky eater, and if I won't serve it, if I won't eat it, I'm not gonna serve it to you. All the extras. I'll do the fried okra, okay. the corn nuggets, tater tots, pinto beans with cornbread. Home fries, right, spicy fries, spicy and fries. the onion rings. All right, home fries. So basically, spicy all fries the extras. And onion rings. Yes, ma'am. All right, onion rings for a treat. So, what was the main industry in this that didn't use springs? It was well, steel mill. Yeah, Lone Star was the steel mill started in Lone Star, and then they branched out. Okay. They had different uh, facilities over here in Hugh Springs, mm -hmm. different pipe to thread the pipe or texture it. And how many employees do they have? 2,700. Wow. That's more than the whole population of the town. Yeah. Maybe closed down two years ago? I believe so. Well, that must have hurt. Yeah, they so Lone Star Steel sold out the U.S. Steel out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay. And they bought it for the uh, blueprints on the number one weld welding machine they had. They didn't shut it down down here. That's a shame. Because it looks like the uh, you know, Google the population a few springs, it's, it's fallen quite a bit the last two years. Like a lot. I think it said that it dropped from, that science says like 1791, I think. But it says it's in the 1400s now. So I'm sure it's because the steel mill closed. That's a drag. Here's the order of fried okra and the pinto beans. 
And the dishes look like something you'd see at Granny's house. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Thank you. Would you like to try a bite? Yes, but I'm going to grab a fork. Would you like to make me a bite? I will make you a bite. I'll give you a, this will be the best bite. There's a gravy. That's a beautiful bite. I know it's kind of big, but you can, do it. Right. You can handle it. Zach, this is the time you turn the camera off. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I got for fries for you. Thank you. Yes, sir? How was it? Bueno. <laughs> woo, woo. I'm that full. Was good. Are you full? I'm full. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Granny's Kitchen. Wait. Well, Outstanding. Right Chicken fried steak was fantastic. Now, we, we live in that house right there. This is Royce. Yeah. Granny actually made and served our food. It's outstanding. I think yeah. Royce helped a little bit. In the I kitchen. could. I could. I could. I could, I could now, steaks. <laughs> they're only open from 11 to 2 Monday to Friday. And if you want the daily special, you got to get here early. I highly recommend it. What did you think about it, Casey? I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, every bite of mine. Yes, sir. I did too. All right. Now we're on our way like back. Like back to Wiley. So that was a good day. We ran about 300 miles to northeast Texas, the Piney Woods area of Hughes Springs. Rescued a 70 Charger 500. Yeah, it was actually cool. much better than it looked in the pictures. Yeah, I, I sent you the I pictures, you're like, are you sure? Because yeah. <laughs> it was in the ground and it looked a lot worse than it is. Yeah. Kind of looked like it had been damaged in the front of the hat, which is really neat. It's got the original core support. It was originally a 383 two barrel car. Yeah. It's been sitting since 1990 and the prior two owners, one was in Greenville, the other was in Quinlan. Then we got to go to Granny's Kitchen. Which was awesome. Now, <laughs> heard about that, been thinking about that for a while. Famous chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes and cream gravy. It was outstanding. Then we got to learn a little bit about the area out there, why the population has decreased some. U.S. Steel had a plant, 2,700 co-workers. I wanted to go see it and that was pretty amazing, wasn't it? It's crazy, it looked like a movie set. It was just huge. Massive. Yeah. So it was a great day to be alive. It's five o'clock now, we left at 9.30 this morning, it was a good day. And it went incredibly smooth. I think Kelsey was our good luck charm. Yep. I think That's I the was. smoothest it's gone yeah. all year, isn't it? Rolled up. Yeah, everything went perfect, perfect today. It did. Perfect, perfect. Easy to get the car out. Car was great. Food was great. People were awesome. So go good visit thing. Granny's Kitchen if you're ever in that area. It's by Mount Pleasant. Not in that area, Cove. Yeah. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Please like, tag, share, and follow. Most of all, subscribe to what? Our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Dennis Collins Car World. Um, it's a good follow. It's a good subscribe. <laughs> See you next week. Uh-uh. I got this. What are you doing? Hmm? Huh? Waiting. I'm waiting for them to move so I can get, go. What are you doing inside the car, though? Huh? What are you doing inside the car? I'm going. You're going? Where are you going? I'm boogieing. You're boogieing. Step on the brake. you go. You having fun? Yes. <laughs> what are you driving? A car. What kind of car? A charger. A charger? Charger. <laughs>